Hello everyone, this is Serenities here, back with another awesome gameplay for you guys today. And this time today guys, we have a Halo 4 ranked gameplay against a very good team. I'm sure you'll see their names in the title, but um, in particular, uh, it's against my favourite guys that I like playing, uh, so you probably know who that is. Um, but one of them in particular is one of my best friends, Assisty You. Um, so you're going to see uh, Assisty You on my channel for the first time, although I have played him on uh, two other occasions where um, I've played him on uh, Pitfall King of the Hill in Halo 4 as well and 1 um, and I also played him in the H2A game where they voted flag when we wanted to play Slayer and started on him a bit there as well so I've had the better of him in MCC although he has beaten me uh, many times in uh, flag on the 360 but here we go guys pretty stacked HG team we have uh, Viperio Outcast which is um, upmarket pudding, uh, Viperio Doodle, which is Doodle himself, very uh, very good slayers for the HG team, very strong players, Oxocube and uh, Assisty U, and I don't know if Kurt was with them or not, I couldn't tell, I think it is a team of five, um, and we also have um, Anti Camp on our team, the guys of the legend, pretty good sniper, uh, Postal Clock, which is myself. Jamie is a new friend of mine. He's also a good friend of Gamble's. I like playing this guy. Um, Gamble as well, my main man. Uh, one of my Halo bros. Uh, the Dark Raider, who is essentially a speedrunner, but he, in the short time he's been playing Halo 4, has got really good at playing Halo 4. So, guys, I hope you enjoy his gameplay. It's really... Uh, it's really awesome to clutch the win with this squad. Um, we do get heavily outstayed in this game, but I think we did really well to work together as a team to still get the win. Um, so I'll show you how we were able to do that. Uh, but also I will comment on uh, things that you know need to uh, improve better for our next matchup with HG or whenever that occurs. Uh, but you know they are they are one of the best teams in the playlist, guys. Um, you know I really enjoy playing uh, this team because. They are quite close to our uh, skill level, um, so you know it, it's always a good game playing these. Uh, keys to beating this team are definitely shutting down Pudding. He's definitely the main slayer for them when they play objective. Uh, Doodle is also another play you want to keep quiet, um, but they're all individually skilled. I mean, Assisty you as well is another one you have to shut down because he makes very good um, objective plays. So. At the start guys we got a good start in retrieving the ball, unfortunately we didn't have a very good setup so we lost it quite early on there and you know the slaying from HG made it difficult for us to set up properly. Um, it was a bit of a scrabble this game in terms of getting the ball but once we lost it we just had to make sure that we got the kills that mattered like, or the killing the um, enemy members that were around uh, the ball was really important so we kind of had to do that in this gameplay. Um, as you can see, some really nice shots from the guy cross map to try and finish me off. Um, luckily, I was able to get a kill and assist there to get the ball, and my teammates responded really well for us to set up again. So it was a really nice play. You know, lost the lead for a time, but we were able to get the ball back, which was a really huge play we had to make, you know, to get some time. Um, some really nice nades incoming, so I'm just going to just move them around a bit so I can dodge them. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, get, getting uh, flanked by uh, the guys on Blue Street, so going to have to drop off the ball here. A little bit of a mistake by the HG members to drop down. The ball will always um, respawn a Mohawk if it's dropped off the map, so um, you know you should always be looking towards Mohawk for that when it happens. Um, at this point, just converging on the ball, guys, because I know they're going to rush it really hard, so just literally looking to um, get that for, for my team. At this point I thought most of them were set up on blue so that's why I threw it red because every time I got the ball in that situation I was asking my team where are they, where are you, where are you, where do I need to throw it and uh, you know so they can set up again at a different area on the map. Uh, because we were getting heavily outslayed you know we had to make the important kills that mattered um, but you know I think that was to be expected because a lot of our team members that we have playing um, you know some of them for, for, for some of them Halo 4 is not their main game so uh, you know, it was a really, it was a really tough match for them in the sense they haven't played HG before. I mean, Dark Raider has only been playing uh, for a short time in Halo 4, and uh, you know, like he's got really good as a player, and to take on a team like this is really, really impressive. So, uh, you know, but I, I like playing this team, uh, you know, HG because uh, Pudding's got a great host when when he pulls it, and you know, the connection's really good in game. Um, I'm not a lover of assisty use host, however, but. Um, you know, the connections are generally really good when you play them because they are a UK team and, you know, they are uh, one of the UK teams I think they're closest to our skill. There's also 
uh, Dean's team, they're, they're good players as well, but I think the HG are definitely the best game uh, to play, and you know, really, uh, well, you know, really uh, satisfying when you beat this squad. Um, but at this point, guys, you know, looking to go for the ball again, we're managing to get, uh, you know, quite a bit of time, although we're getting perhaps late a bit. Um, we are getting the ball time that we need, so that's really good play. Even for um, Gamble, you know, my one of my other Halo bros, um, even for him, this was a difficult game, so it's to be expected. Uh, <laughs> we were getting outslayed a bit, but, um, you know, right here, he's making some nice plays, really doing a good job in this match to keep HG somehow. I don't know how we did it, but. Keeping some of the bottom middle, it made them hard for uh, for them to get the ball at times. So that's really nice play. Um, at this point, guys, you know, looking to push uh, Mohawk and Red Street because that's where most of them have gone. At this point, just getting too many shots incoming from all of them, and I'm going to be taken out relatively quickly there, unfortunately. Um, so looking to you know just push up with my teammates wherever they are on the map. Really just looking at the ball guy. Um, you know, whenever he's on his own, just rush him as hard as I can uh, to get the ball off them. That's really the main idea there, so they get some nice shots on Oxo and Doodle here to finish them up. Really big play from our team there, killing the assist was huge there. As you can see, it's just the U, definitely uh, their objective front, so a nice kill to shut him down as well there, it's going to be huge. At this point, yeah, would have been really nice if I had a nade here in order to take out Doodle on the landing. Unfortunately, I didn't have one at the time, so that was unfortunate. Um, but you know, th this team is so great at uh, um, you know, objective game types, they're also very good at um, Slayer as well, but the, I think their specialty is CTF, um, and I don't know if I'd have the, I don't think I, I'd know if I have the nerve to play them in CTF again, um, they're just ridiculously good at CTF, and yeah, you know, <laughs> I have to accept that, but at that point guys, a little bit of a mistake on my part, I don't know if I would have thrown the ball. I would have maybe held on to it for a few more seconds because every uh, second counts when you're playing this team. So I would have actually, you know, held on to it for a bit longer there. Unfortunately, a bit of a mistake to push uh, top mid as well. Um, you know, I do go next seven in this gameplay, uh, but I was doing a lot of the ball work, so that was kind of essential for winning this match. Um, but you know, it was hard for me to uh, actually go positive in this game because I was focused so much on the objective. Right here, I know that the ball guy's on his own, um, so I'm just going to push in on that and you know, hopefully to get the kill. Really nice play from Puddin to try and challenge me there. Um, but hopefully, I was hoping the ball guy would die a bit quicker, but unfortunately he didn't. Um, but I was able to eventually take out Puddin and uh, Kurt. Uh, you know, eventually got some help, um, so they were both taken out. That's going to be a nice play for us there, forcing them bad spawns at the bottom of Red Ramp, um, able to take a few more players out there, so that's going to be huge. Really nice flank on the uh, HG boys right here on Pudding and Doodle. I was hoping to finish them both off here before Check and do it. I had to jump out there because Doodle was going to throw a grenade, so uh, it was a nice challenge, of course, just couldn't finish it off. Most likely here they'll get a Mohawk spawn, so we just want to push up immediately on them. Uh, really big uh, double kill from Dark Raider there. And I'm managing to finish off Pudding, that's a big kill as well because he's one of their best slayers. So eventually we get four dead there for a time, which is going to be a huge uh, bit of play from our team. Um, you know, Sonny's like, uh, Any Camp at this point is saying, uh, <laughs> cover's blown. Um, Any Camp at this point is saying, uh, you know, look, let's, uh, let's get a player top mid, um, you know, to try and, uh, uh, you know, like make it easier for ourselves to actually uh, get into it. Um, but, you know, just looking to, uh, you know, slay the players that are, uh, you know, watching in top mid and also, um, you know, trying to get some ball control back uh, for our team. But um, at this point, just looking to, um, you know, uh, finish off the ball guy um, bottom of the bottom of the street is very difficult because, again, uh, slayed from other members uh, outside of where they've got their setup. Um, so really nice play from HG here to take some lead. Um, on the ball, uh, you know, big kill put in there on the landing. He was a pretty important player to clear up. Trying to clear up Doodle here, but unfortunately I couldn't get down to it. Managed to get him weak for Gamble though. It's going to be a huge double kill from Gamble. At this point, the ball comes to me, and I'm just looking for where my teammates are. Uh, you know, we've got no setup, but I know that most of the HG members are sort of bottom mid area or bottom uh, blue ramp, so I just throw it towards Mohawk. Big play from Dark Raider there to take the ball, that's absolutely huge from him. Uh, really nice throw from me from bottom mid. It's going to be a really nice play, really good bit of teamwork there. And as you can see, I'm saying to him that uh, you know they're going to be pushing us at red, so Dark Raider taking the initiative to pass it through. 
gamble with some really big kills there. You know, managing to keep slaying is really intense as the game's going to really, you know, not, there's not much left in this, guys. About 1 minute 40 and about, you know, 200 points to win. It's very close right now, very intense game. Um, as you can see, they're trying to push up on us a bit more, so I'm just going to try and protect the ball carrier as much as I can. There's a few guys, uh, Hawk as well. This is a really big kill for me in order to make him get shot from behind as well, though, so I couldn't do it. Um, so it's a really big play from the ball guy to drop the, the ball out. Um, really big play. It's gonna it's gonna be played at Mohawk. I just had a vibe here, guys, that put in would take the ball bot middle, so that's why I dropped down. Uh, really good prediction on my part. Um, Fortunately, I'm gonna be taken out pretty quickly, so just gonna have to get back to try and help my teammates as quickly as I can. Managing to get a big kill on Oxo Cube there. Um, you know, really good Slayer as well, trying to take him out because uh, every uh, shot I put on here counts. Um, all of these players are really good, so you have to make sure none of them are left or alive as we're going for these last um, seconds on the clock. Uh, only about 40 seconds left to play now, we've got 7 seconds for the win. So just rushing the ball like crazy here, don't want them to get any time possible, just have to close out the win right now. As you can see, just nading the odd ball, trying to stop them from grabbing it. Really nice plays to get the assist there possible, and at this point guys, it's going to be the final push. About 30 seconds left right now. So every shot counts. Putting some shots on Oxo here to try and finish him off. Managing to get the assist there. There's going to be a clutch kill against the EU. Sit down, Matt. Sit down, my friend. And take him out there. And we do manage to get the ball in that game. But that was a very tough match for us, guys. Very tough game. As you can see, there's just not much in this. Um, really great slaying from the HG team. Really, really intense game. I really enjoy playing this one, guys. Um, just an intense Halo 4 ranked gameplay against one of the best teams. Um, so this was Serenities guys and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.